Hello, welcome to the Smackdown Review with me, All Things Wrestling, joined as always by KK and Dave from Crack Screen Productions. How are you two doing? Doing good. Doing good. Well, what a load of shit this was. Right? Mm, yep. Not surprised. Um, my God. Uh, to, to be fair, we start off very, very strong with a Roman promo talking about he's never left the ring apart from when he was ill for a few months. He's carrying the company on his back and all this kind of stuff. He caught a fire promo during the start of the show. Yes, he did. Yeah, all eyes on the head of the table. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was very good. And then it ended up with Paul Heyman agreeing to face Adam Pearce in a match in, in the main event. Yeah. Uh, that made it cringy. Yeah, the promo was fire at least. Yeah. And then Sami Zayn is protesting the injustice towards himself by ha handcuffing himself to the barricade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. I actually Ooh. really did like that. I did too. Yeah, Sami Zayn is officially in the Royal Rumble now. Yep. Yeah. Which is good. We then had a woman's tag match, Charlotte Flair and Asuka, in a non-title match against Ruby Wright and Liv Morgan. Charlotte and Asuka won. Let me just say no that... Let me just say the fact that even the Raw superstars know how trash Raw is, so all, the, all they want to come to... They want to come to the island of uh, relevancy. Yeah. Uh, and then... Thank God the Riot Squad kicked out Billy Kay because she keeps trying to join them. Yeah. Like, there, there is no us. There's just there's just we. Goodbye. Which was good. Then Cesar, uh, Daniel starts cutting a promo talking about well, he's in the Royal Rumble match. It's the one thing he hasn't done in his career. Uh, it, this makes him feel alive, and then he gets interrupted by Cesaro, who's like, I know how to win uh, Battle Royale matches and stuff, because I've won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. Now we're going to fight. And then Dolph Ziggler comes out and fights Cesaro. Yeah, because Cesaro posted an open challenge. Yeah. I like that segment. You know, he started with a promo and then a match, following along. Yeah. Sammy had more sight. He kept swapping his sightings throughout the uh, night to different sides, which was nice. Yeah, yeah, he was Wiley Coyote for the night. <laughs> yeah, it was actually good. Uh, Cesaro won with a neutralizer. Hey, Cesaro might be going to a single star. I'm more than up for that. Right. He's better that way. Yeah, it definitely is. He's not a tag team. The only tag team he worked in was with Sheamus. And uh, TJ. Well, yeah, but we're, that was going back many years ago. Yeah. Don't think that one's ever going to happen again. No, uh, he's injured, so no. Yeah. Then we go to Sasha Banks versus Reginald. I love how they put this. They put in brackets non-title match. Well, of mm. course it's not a title match. He's a fucking man. He's not challenging for the women's championship. I gotta say, this was an awesome match. Yeah, I mean, she, he did get his it ass was fun to watch. It, it was fun to watch Sasha Banks toss that guy around. Yeah. yeah, even though he's actually probably a decent wrestler. He's very athletic, though. Yeah, he's really good. He, he bumped like crazy for Sasha. Yeah. Overall, that was probably match of the night. That's a sad Seriously? Thing. <laughs> You don't what, get to, what else you don't can get you to, think can beat that, that dude? Jesus Christ. Uh, then we go to Big E versus Apollo Crews for the Intercontinental Championship. Sammy unlocks his handcuffs and then drop kicks Crews, causing him to win by disqualification. Basically setting up for hopefully these having a triple threat match. For the title. At Rumble, probably. But That's Sammy's in the rumble. Good. Are they going to do him? Are they going to all pull double duty? Double duty? Why not? Wouldn't yeah. be the first time they've had a, a superstar do double duty. True. Uh, then Kevin Owens cuts a promo in a car. 
Like, I'm not in the arena tonight. Blah, 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 blah. I tuned out when he started talking, to be honest. Yeah, he, he basically said, I showed up to work today and was told I couldn't get into the building because Roman pulled some strings to make sure I wouldn't be there. Oh. We know what's happening, then. Yeah. Uh, then, for some reason, Sonya Deville is there with the Street Profits and Ziggler and Fruit Baskets and everything. I don't know. I half paid attention to what was going on in this. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch most of that either. Yeah, they basically want to regain the tag titles. Fuck off. Just go away. Please. Mm. Oh... Now we're going to... I think we're going to get our second minus for this year. Obstacle course. Yes. Fucking obstacle, obstacle course. course. Obstacle course. You had to flip a 400-pound tyre, go over hurdles, climb three fences, put somebody on your back, and then shoot a basketball. Bailey did it in 1 minute and 12 seconds. Bianca Belair put did it stronger by putting up bigger hurdles and having to carry Otis on her back instead of Chad Gable when she went it finished in fifty five seconds. And then Bailey. Go did Bianca. I was impressed. Go I'm Bianca. I'm giving this I mean she's never two. she never disappointed me, but like I was impressed. Yeah, her As physical an strength segment, is no, I give it no a doubt. one though. She carried Otis on her back. There is no doubt Bianca is physically strong, but this segment was trash. It didn't work for NXT. It didn't work when Bobby Lashley and Sami Zayn did it, and it won't work now. Minus two out of ten. Do you guys have a rating for this? I gave it a one. I'm going to say five out of ten. It was a bizarre spot that... Why? But I go hate, beyond it. I hate it. Carrying Otis. Uh, well... We know why KK rated it five. Bias. Mm-hmm. Okay, but then you gotta have a little fun in wrestling. It was kind of fun to watch, though. I don't think it was. It, it pained me and made my eyes bleed. Really? This is WWE doing comedy really fucking cringy. And then Dominic Mysterio think... got beat by Baron Corbin. Fantastic. Yeah, from what I've seen of that... Wait, do we... Do, are we talking about that match already? Uh, we're yeah. about to get to the main event. Uh, which one, the Corbin or the main event? Uh, Corbin and Dominic. Yeah, we want it now. Oh, Dominic seemed... From what I, what I saw, Dominic just got smacked. Oh my yeah, pretty much. The king put him in close. his place. He was very close to winning, though. Yeah, and then Baron Corbin, end of days, which is the only good thing by Corbin. And his theme. When he was yeah, the lone wolf. His theme is good as well. But then we get to the main event. Paul Heyman, Adam Pearce. Uh, uh, Paul Heyman makes his way to the ring with a hurt leg. Paul says, Claude, subject to change. And playing the part of Paul Heyman was Roman Reigns. But then Paul Heyman magically works. Legs works again. Roman beats the shit out of uh, Pearce for a bit. Ro Kevin Owens shows up magically and then... Somehow Kevin Owens got the better of uh, Roman. And Who didn't see that coming? Exactly. He got the hit the stunner. The stunner. Roman's the stunner. been booked so Roman's been booked so strong lately that like I didn't see it I didn't well, I mean Jey Uso wasn't there, so yeah, maybe. I think that's what they're trying to tell. If no Jey Uso there, Roman isn't as strong. Yeah, KO and Adam, they got the better of Roman two times in a row. Like, this feud has started in no November, and, like, here we are yeah. at the end of, like, January. Yeah. I, I like the storyline. It, it keeps getting fan more fantastic, in my yeah, opinion. it's definitely... It's grown just very good over the last few months with Jey Uso and then Kevin Owens and then Adam Pearce being involved. I'm, I'm enjoying the Roman stuff. It's the only reason why SmackDown is actually watchable. If it weren't for that, I think the show would have been unwatchable. I think this is going to be like the main event for like Royal Rumble. Apart from the actual Royal Rumble. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would give this show 2.5 out of 10. It was 
definitely a piss poor show. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say 3.5. I agree with KK, 3.5. Well, that was our thoughts on SmackDown. Uh, Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Check out Crazy Dave. Get him to 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. We can get Crazy Dave's spontaneous streams. Yes, please. Yes. um, Yeah, this was a a good review, at least. Better than the actual show. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, me and Dave, hopefully Dave, will be back for New Japan in a few hours. So check back on the channel then. Uh, and yeah, yep. we shall see you all hopefully in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Peace. Bye.